All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So, I'm in front of LA Fitness Winter Park, the one off 436 and Hollow Branch Road. It's actually near Castleberry. And uh, just a heads up, there's another LA Fitness in Winter Park that was originally a signature, but it, now it isn't, and that is on, uh, what is that, 1792 Orlando Avenue. But I'm going to do a video here because the last few I've done were at my gym in Windermere, which is a signature LA Fitness. I wanted to come for my, what is this, my fourth video? Uh, the first one I did was the day the gyms opened after the pandemic. Then I did a week after, and then I did the second week. So this is going to be the third week of the gyms being open after the pandemic. Uh, I'm gonna do another tour here. The first time I did this video regarding the gym, I did a tour to show you exactly what it looks like. Then a couple videos after that that I did, I just explained all the differences that I've been seeing per day or per week inside the gym. But I wanted to check out another gym and also give you a heads up on all the changes as well. So let's go in here. And again, this is the third week after the gyms, at least in Florida, have opened uh, during the coronavirus pandemic. There we go. I want to see this entrance compared to ours, how different it is. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. Doesn't look like anybody though here is in the front. Hmm, interesting. So it looks like you scan yourself in. All right, here we go. So this looks very similar to my LA Fitness Signature Gym. Uh, we're in, you know, the middle lane is closed and from here, like my gym, the jacuzzi is still closed after three weeks. Again, they have these blue arrows still up. And the cycling from what I saw the other day was they're having classes, you just have to social distance. They're not that busy, so I don't even think you have to set up uh, a cycle before going in. Um, or scheduling one, I should say. But I've actually done a gym tour here before. Let's see. Uh, so they have a stretching area here. At my gym, they have actually the one over here. But um, looks pretty thin in here. This is just like mine. It's all still the same. Where they have all the bicycles. I'm gonna kind of go up. I don't have to do a whole gym tour here and then I'll get into what changes I've seen and not seen regarding these gyms. Let's go up top here. So there's a couple guys in the front office area wearing masks. Smoothie place is still open. Looks like here they've spread out the equipment a little bit more. A lot of my gym equipment is kind of bolted. And I've discussed this before regarding the free weight areas. No matter what, when it gets busy, there's no way avoiding this, especially if you want to use dumbbells. This looks a little more spread out than what I remember. But again, a lot of equipment here is bolted to the ground. So for instance, the bench presses, the decline, shoulder press. But it does look a little thinner, or at least more open. All right, so this looks a little different than my gym because they took a bunch of racquetball rooms in my gym in Windermere and they made it private training areas where in here it looks like they are still playing racquetball. Uh, my gym they're playing it as well, but there's only two that are open. It looks like all these are open. And the guy from LA Fitness is sterilizing it. This looks pretty similar to mine. I have yet to see any classes ran out of here or at my gym. That's quite interesting. All right. Just take a walk over here. Not many things I'm seeing different. 
So I'm gonna give you a heads up regarding what I've noticed over the last three weeks as far as working out in LA Fitness. Uh, also the comparisons between my gym in Windermere and this one in Winter Park. Um, so let's kind of give you a breakdown there. When I went to check in today at LA Fitness, on the app it popped up uh, mentioning some information about COVID and all these other things. So when you're on the app, I'm sure it's gonna help give you more information than before from what I saw. But I kind of glossed right over it and I just wanted to get inside here and shoot the video. So I didn't really read that much into it, but that was something new uh, in this gym. Then when I went to go into the restrooms and wash my hands, I realized that on the mirrors they have out of service above all the sinks, which I don't understand why that is, especially if you're gonna use the restroom, which I did and I came out, there was no soap either which was kind of weird in itself. And it said, again, you couldn't use the sinks. They were out of service, but the water ran and there were guys shaving. So uh, also the pool was closed still. The sauna is closed, but uh, the showers are open. That happened about a week ago from what I understand. Once they opened the pools, I think they had to open the showers. So far as this gym goes, um, like I was mentioning in the video itself, some things do look more spread apart and some things don't to a certain degree. And I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. I think the reality is most people are not wiping the equipment down before they use them. If they did it before, they're still doing it now. If they didn't do it before, they're not doing it now. Even afterwards, a lot of times I'm realizing a lot of people are not wiping the equipment down. Just a heads up. Again, if they did it before, most likely uh, they're doing it now. But a lot of, I guess I, I should say dudes, because I've realized too, for the most part, I'm seeing a lot more guys back at the gym. Uh, and I've been going all different times and I've been going to different LA fitnesses. So it just seems like it's probably nine guys for every one woman, and I'm not kidding, especially from the hours of four to like eight. Uh, it seems in LA Fitness that I've been kind of going at different times. Lunchtime seems pretty busy, like 11 to one, and then from basically 4.30, like I was saying, to about eight o'clock, it's pretty busy. So if you want to avoid any traffic uh, or people, I would go early in the mornings, which I haven't, but I presume it's not that busy. Maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe before work, it does get very busy. Um, but today I'm here kind of a little earlier, so I don't see it being that busy. And then uh, if you wanna go later too, but a lot of times the gyms are closing at, from what I understand, eight o'clock, so you can't go later. And I still think it's the same time right now. For the first time I've seen somebody being trained by a trainer at LA Fitness today, right now when I walked in, he had a mask on, he was training someone. So that's the first time I've seen that. I've discussed that in the last few weeks. I haven't seen any trainer training anyone. For the most part, it seems like they're very thin as far as help goes. Usually only one or two guys up in the front uh, in the desk area. Sometimes there's someone in the front, sometimes there isn't, just like I kind of videotaped it this time. Nobody was up there. So you're kind of on your own with that sometimes. Um, I also don't see gym tours going on. I don't know if anybody's here not offering them or if they're doing them and I just never caught anyone doing a gym tour. But if you're looking to maybe uh, do a gym tour, I would definitely check to make sure that they're still offering that. Maybe they're not. Uh, the smoothie place is open. Usually they have a mask when doing the smoothies. And uh, what else we got? We got racquetball rooms here. They have a bunch at my Windermere gym. Two of them are set up for private training areas that they allow us to use too, which is awesome. Uh, but here it looks like they have a bunch. At ours, they're only, I think they only have two open and they're kind of set apart from one another. And it looks like the guys, it's like first come first serve. I don't think they're like signing certain times up. I may be wrong about that. I don't play racquetball or handball, but it just looks like that. Here, I don't see anybody playing right now, but I presume they're allowing it because I saw a guy cleaning one. Yeah, and as far as the classes go here, I heard they're doing different classes. I heard last week that they're doing yoga, an ab, and a Zumba class. I just haven't seen any going on. I also haven't seen any classes as far as the pool area. That goes for water aerobics or even teaching kids, which I'm not sure, they probably aren't doing that, but I don't see anything going on in the pool area or classes-wise. I did see a cycling class, which I mentioned in the video, but it was just a small little class. Again, I don't know if you have to come set a certain, you know, you gotta pick a, a cycle or they only allow so many in, that I don't know. But that still seems to be very scarce. Not a lot of people from what I'm seeing doing a lot of classes. I do think they are trying to keep these places as clean as possible though. And I do think people are trying to social distance, all right? Um, 
one weird thing I noticed a lot too, for the most part, is they have a lot of equipment in the gymnasium area spread out. I shouldn't say equipment, I should say ellipticals, treadmills, cycles. And I don't see many people going in there. What I realized was, especially from like 4.30 to closing, it gets really crazy and no one seems to want to go inside the gymnasium even to warm up or do anything. They're usually on the top floor or they're just in the gym itself. So it gets much more congested, I realized, in certain areas. So I know they wanted to spread things out and they had to, but I think before you had the option to go swim, sauna, play basketball, do these other things where now most people are just going to the free weight area or the uh, or the equipment area, but there's it's not as spread out as it used to be. So it's kind of at times very congested. So I think at one time they were trying to spread things out, but by killing the gym, killing the jacuzzi, for the most part kind of killing the pool, even though there's two lanes, but not a lot of people I don't think trust going in there, but that is just something to think about. It's not like what you think. You, it's, it's got a lot of people still coming in. We just aren't as spread out as we used to be. Also, again, back to racquetball, I don't know because our place, like I said, it looks like they're only running a couple where before they had a lot more action going and everybody was kind of in all these different areas. And again, now it's not like that. So something to think about. Basically, from what I'm seeing from the first day that I went back to LA Fitness, uh, to now, which is three weeks later, I don't see much of a change, to be honest with you. Uh, I do see it getting busier, not a ton, uh, but more consistent, but it's mainly dudes, truthfully. Uh, the only difference, again, I'm seeing is really the pool. They open that area up and the showers. Uh, the locker rooms originally, I think, were all closed. It's still the same. They did open some lockers, but they want a social distance. Uh, but besides those few things, as far as the gym itself, at least both gyms that I'm looking at, it's almost identical, so don't think it's gotten to the point where now things are opening more and more and more. It doesn't seem like that. It seems like the gym is just a gym. Uh, the gymnasium's closed, sauna's closed, jacuzzi's closed, uh, equipment is spread out, and call it a day. I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal, and the smoothie places are, have been open from the beginning, and they still are now if your gym offers one. So that's all I got regarding this. Hopefully you got something out of this. I'll let you know next week what it's gonna be because that'll basically be a month out. I'm wondering if things are gonna change, but I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you get a chance, check out my podcast, The Rich Shalunza Show, WTF Are You Talking About? I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you dig this video, you might wanna check out my other videos as well regarding gym tours or just updates on uh, what's been going on in LA Fitness with uh, work, uh, regarding it being open because I may have not covered everything in this video, but the other ones, uh, I might've covered things that I didn't cover here. So I'll wrap it up there. Take care and stay healthy.